Hello again, YouTube. Truth Man here. So I just want to talk real quick. This is going to be a short video on finances. Uh, it's going to be a short video, probably five minutes or so. And I want to get into finances. In fact, I would entitle this video Financial Advice for People Who Just Want to Do Better. Everybody ain't trying to get rich. Some people just want to do better. And I can tell you, this the information you gotta learn from somebody who has failed financially and who's willing to share the, some of the things that they did wrong. So this is financial advice for somebody who just wants to do better. Some of y'all make a lot of money, but you don't have a lot of money. And it's reasons for it. It's reasons for it. We allow our bills to get out of control trying to look like we got money. You think I don't know? You know how I know? Because I did it. Now, so the first way is some, you just settle for having more money in your pocket than having a new car. Let the girls and let the guys at your job pay them high car notes. You just keep moving up in car. We done talked about some of these things before. Keep moving up in car. Get you a car that's going to get you there and back, just like they car getting them there and back, that you can pay cash for. And if you just have to pay a note, you, some of y'all is short, like five one five two five three. Just get you like a, a, a Chevy Volt or one of them little cars like that, Nissan Versa. Then you'll have a brand new car, and they'll be paying six, seven hundred. You'll be paying two hundred. But the preference would be to just keep moving up in car. Whether you got to go to an auto auction, whether you got to uh, ride past all the dealerships, get you a list. Be like, okay, I only want to spend five thousand. So you know you need fifty-four hundred to spend five thousand because they're going to try to run up the tax and title. So, next you want to save your money, man. Save your money past the amount you're willing to pay for a car. So, if you say, okay, I'm going to pay, I'm going to save up $5,400 for a car, then you really probably should save up $6,400 or $7,000. That sounds like a lot. It is a lot to have, but think about it like this. That's what? That's like 600 a month, which is 150 a week. Y'all can do it. I can do it. You can do it. Everybody can do it if you got a nice income, especially. So that's like, okay, that's like every week you say, okay, I'm going to put up 175 and I'm not going to touch it. And then you get towards the end of the year. You can go and buy you a $5,400 car and you still got $1,600. You still got your emergency fund. Whereas if something happened in that car and you don't, and next thing, don't stop saving it. When you get the purchases you want, keep saving that amount. And, and as you get raises and as you make more and you get overtime, save more than that amount. So if you work eight hours of overtime at your job and you make, $20 an hour, say. That's a hundred. That's going to be like a, another $130 after taxes. So, you'd be like, okay, this week I'm saving $275. You see how that works? And if you time, consistency is going to pay off. If you consistently do it, it's going to pay off. So, you just learn how to tackle one thing at a time. One thing at a time. And then keep it moving. One, uh, tackle something else. Keep it moving. You will have a paid off car that wax and wash up just as good as theirs. And yours might be 10 years younger. You might have a 2014 or something. But they got a 2024 and they paying 900 a month. You ain't paying no note. You just putting gas in it and repairs as needed. And like I said, if you pay 54 total, but you had 7,000, you still got 1,600. 
case your tires go out, in case this happened, that happened, and you're going to keep saving, right? You're going to keep saving. So that 1600 is going to go up. 1750, 1900. You see? See how that works? Me personally, if you want to believe in stocks, this ain't the place to be. I believe in saving. Like, when I was broke, it was because I wasn't saving. When I have money, it, because, it was because I was. So, I believe in saving. As far as the stock market, I done had stocks off and on for years, and it go up a little bit, go down, go up a little bit. It's inconsistent. Inconsistent. That's why I don't believe in it. I believe in saving. You say, well, the dollar losing this value. Let me tell you something. One dollar is still one dollar in the U.S. If something costs a dollar and I give them a dollar, it's paid for. So uh, until that changes, I'm not going to change my mindset. Because I believe in having multiple income streams. You want to you be time efficient. You want to start out with stuff that ain't going to take you that long. Like flipping cars like vending machines, like a laundry mat, stuff like that. So, if you do those things, I'm telling you, you'll do better. Like get change, you get change. Y'all be trying to give the exact amount. No, let them give you some change and put it in a jar somewhere. And when that jar fill up, like, let me show you something. Let me show y'all something. Here's my change jar. I even got dollars in here. So when, when I get $100 in here, I'm going to take it out and put a rubber band around it. The change jar is halfway filled up. When it fills up, I'm going to take it, cash it in, and put the money up. These are the things that make y'all do better, man. These are the things that make me do better. Thanks for watching.